Hello guys, once again welcome back to another Android application development tutorial. In the last video, we already learned about what is the difference between implicit and explicit intent. So we create two Android applications, application A and application B. Okay, so these are our two application in application A. <coughs> uh, we have two activities, uh, first for sharing a post and second for sent an email. So, uh, the second activity we start using an implicit intent so in our application B uh, we need to send an email so uh, we can use the activity available in application A to send email okay so now in this video here I am going to show you what is the use of what is the role of permissions while working with implicit intent so we have two applications application a and application b application a contain an activity that is capable of sending data okay anyway now this is application b i'm going to close this project now i'm going to just enter into application a now open the android manifest file uh, for the second activity that means send to mail uh, we have an intent filter section we specify the action data and category so for the second activity that means for this activity here i am going to specify some permission android dot permission dot read contacts so for this activity sent to mail uh, we have a special permission called uh, read contacts now I run the project uh, that project available on this virtual device try to send email just once yeah it's working fine now I remove all the applications from memory now I open application B <coughs> and try to send to mail and here you can see now application A is not listed here. This is because application A contain <coughs> a special permission. That means that particular activity contain a special permission. That permission is not available in application B. So if you want to use implicit intent, you have to make sure that both the activities share the same permission set. So in our case, application b does not have a read conduct permission but application a that means <coughs> that particular activity in application a has a read conduct permission that is not available in application b that's why that particular application is not listed here okay so now i am going to implement a special permission for application b so i close the project application a now i go to application b now open our manifest file so inside manifest here i am going to add the permission special permission for the read contacts so now <coughs> our application b also have the read contact permission i run the project okay so now application b is also <clears throat> has the permission but still uh, that particular application a activity is not listed here this is because from android version 6.0 onwards the user has to grant the permission at a runtime so we have a read conduct permission for application b but we didn't uh, we didn't provide that permission that's why it is still not working okay anyway i'm going to allow that permission so for that go to settings go to apps and notifications this these are our application so go to application b and select permissions here we need the read conduct permission so i allow that permission now come back to home screen now i start application b now try to send mail and here you can see now application a is listed here that means <laughs> application a and application b have the same set of permission set so that is the role of permissions while working with implicit intent i hope you understand the concepts for getting more android tutorial updates please subscribe this channel now thank you for watching 
See you in the next episode.